play with. So, you know, we just look at it as a learning experience. They're so unusual offensively, Oregon is. Would it be nice to get back to playing what would be considered maybe a more traditional offense this weekend? You know, it's kind of it's, it's kind of hard to say. You know, we just go out and play defense, you know, line up to what the offense gives us. You know, we just have to play fast and execute the game plan. What's going to be the key for you guys defensively? I mean, last year they put up over 500 yards against you guys. What do you guys – on this. What's going to be the key for you guys? No, we just got to uh, execute, play defense, and tackle well. You know, uh, don't give up. Don't 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 uh, bite ourselves and play disciplined football. Appreciate it. What do you remember about the Swamp playing it two years ago? Man, I remember it was it was it was you know it was loud. You know, it was a great environment. So uh, you know, we just trying to quiet them down a little bit and, and get the win to come back to Knoxville. Heat, humidity, there problem. You know, uh, personally for me, you know, I'm from Valdosta, you know, South Georgia. You know, it's like an hour and a half of Gainesville, so it shouldn't be a problem. You know, Hudson's loud, of course, where you played last week, but how does it compare to an SEC venue like the Swamp or some other places you've been? Man, you know, it's kind of hard to tell on defense because, you know, the, the crowd's kind of quiet for the offense, for that offense plan. So, you know, it's kind of kind of tough to tell. But just when you're on the sidelines and – your offense is out there. Do you, do you notice a difference between an SEC venue and maybe another? I think venue? what was different about Oregon, you know, um, it's just that the fans are so close. You know, they're like almost right behind you, talking in your ear. You know, the uh, the stands are right behind the visitor bench, so you know that was kind of different. Good running back, Matt Jones, number 24, just came back from injury a couple weeks ago. Can you film anything that stands out about him? Anything you notice? You know, he's a, he's a, he's a uh, good running back. You know, we just got to, uh, you know, pretty much read our keys and play defense against. You know, we're not trying to, you know, uh, reinvent the, the whole defense. But, you know, we just got to go out and play well and tackle. I'm just wondering, do you notice any difference in the level of quarterback play around the conference now versus maybe when you first got here? Say that again? Do you notice any difference in the level of quarterback play in the conference now before versus when you first got here? You know, uh, quarterbacks are waste, you know, I, from what I've noticed, you know, they're smarter, you know, they play well, you know, they uh, they a lot of these quarterbacks are, you know, good leaders, you know, uh, they lead their team and manage the game well. You know, last year Driscoll played probably the best game of his career against Joel. When you were breaking down the film of that game, was that place he was making or plays that y'all were allowing him to make? You know, it's kind of both. You know, he, he, he's on scholarship too, you know, um, you know, they're going to make their plays, but, you know, we can't, we, we got to play discipline football, you know, and not hurt ourselves in, in order for him to make those plays. In terms of guy growing in confidence on the field. How much does that make the first few minutes of the game, the first quarter of the game, really important? You know, because if you're playing a guy that's playing really well, you know, usually he'll go out there and make plays anyway. But, you know, when a guy gains confidence, how much different does he become? Man, you know, it, it, it becomes a lot different. You know, if you rattle, you know, if you rattle a quarterback, you know, especially a young guy, and, um, you know, he, he, he tends to, you know, be shaky the whole game. But, you know, we, if he comes out with a lot of confidence, you know, there's it, it, no telling what he can do, but you know, we gotta, we gotta keep playing. You know, uh, make him sustain that confidence if he do get to play. We just gotta make him sustain that confidence for the whole game. Come on, guys. And what, what comes to your mind when thinking about the Tennessee Florida rivalry? Mm, what comes to my mind? Yeah. Man, I don't, I don't know if I can answer that, but <laughs> just, just seeing the Gator logo out there, just a sense of like. Or energy you feel like big SEC game. You know, uh, you know that's that's of course every game in the SEC is big, but you know, uh, you know that's you got ask coach Jones about you know the stickers on the hill, but you know I play not I pay no attention to that. You know, um, you know I'm just trying to get my defense ready and prepared to play on Saturday. Have you seen some of those defensive tackles, some of the younger guys like O'Brien, Carr, some of those guys that need to step up? Have you seen some of that uh, so far this week in practice? Of course, you know they're trying hard. You know they're uh, they're, they're really trying hard. And, um, you know we just we are gonna have to have those guys play. You know uh, we got we got to rotate the D line in. You know guy. You know we gotta have depth everywhere. You know uh, O'Brien's gonna be big for us to play. You know he, he's a high energy guy. Always plays plays hard. You know we just need him to step up and come on. Hey guys.